Hey guys, this is CG Animator. Sorry it's been so long since I've made another tutorial, but I've had really bad luck over the past two months. My Blender computer shut down because I have two computers, a Blender computer and an internet computer, and I had to get my Blender computer fixed, and as soon as I got it fixed, my internet computer shut off. So now they're both up and running, and I should be posting tutorials regularly. And uh, last time... I made tutorial. I said I was, that the next one was going to be about head modeling, but um, I want to give you guys a couple of small individual ones before I start a big series like that because I've been gone for so long. I've changed a couple of things. It's full screen now because I've gotten a lot of complaints about how the view rotates too much because I had it where just a set amount of the screen was captured and it was followed by the mouse, and I moved the mouse a lot and I rotated the view a lot. So I just turned it to full screen and that should fix it. And I put a red marker around the mouse so you can see where that is better. And um, since it's around the holiday season, I decided to make a couple of Christmas tree, well, Christmas themed tutorials. And this one's going to be about making a Christmas tree in the game engine. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Let's go ahead and delete this cube. Press X to delete. Press space. Add mesh plane. Add a plane. Press RX90 to rotate the plane. Go into front view, scale it up, hold control to snap it to the grid, and then scale it up on the Z axis a little bit. Okay. Bring it up on the Z axis by pressing G. And bring it up to right about there. Let's go into edit mode and let's split this view here. Right click it, plus press split area and select right here. And go over to the UV image editor. Now what you want to do is press U, and instead of pressing unwrap, press project from view bounds, so that it each vertex goes to the edge of the UV map here. So let's go ahead and load an image. You want a PNG image because PNG images can hold alpha maps and things like that. I'll show what I mean in a minute. I put in Christmas tree PNG in photo, uh, Google Images, and I got this. So you should be able to get the same. I would give you the link, but I have to go back and forth, and I wasn't able to get the the link. Sorry, but um, here it is, and you can see it's all black in the background, and that's what the alpha map is. I'll just show you. It means that the alpha level is zero in those. Just select this thing here, and it should show you the alpha. So now if we go into textured view it's still black there's no alpha yet so let's just go ahead and fix a couple things go to texture face here and if you look behind it it's invisible back here so select two side here so that the texture is two sided and you want to select alpha and now it's see through we have a nice low resolution texture here which is pretty good for games because you're making a game on a computer you need pretty low resolution pictures so now Let's go ahead and fix a few material settings. Go over here to materials, select add new. And um, you want to go ahead and go to textures and add this texture here. This is already, it makes one automatically when you add, add this. So just add that so that it can be seen in the game engine. Because if you don't, it just looks like a plane. And then you want to go over here to shaders and turn the specularity down to zero. So now that we have this, we have a pretty nice texture here. Let's go ahead and see it in the game engine. Press P to play. And it's pretty nice but it's very flat so let's go ahead and give it a kind of a three-dimensional look. It's cheating it. Go ahead and press Shift D and right click to cancel out the movement. Press RZ90 and then we have this kind of cheap looking effect but gets the job done. A lot of games used to use this. So just select both of those and hit Control J to join them. Okay, so now that we have this, go over here to the logic tab here and add a sensor, controller, and an actuator. And just click on one button and drag it to the other to connect them. And you want to go over here. You want to leave alpha, I mean always and and the same. You want to go over here to the actuator. And you want to give the rotation on the y axis 0 0.02 movement. And that means it always moves on the y-axis 0.02 degrees. So now let's go ahead and make this big. On the front view, let's 
scale out a little bit. Oh yeah, one more thing. If I would press P right now, it would be gray in the background, and that's because my world settings in the background is gray. So just go over here to materials, go to the world setting here, and just turn that white. And that's how you change the background effects here. So let's just make this full screen and press P. And we have a cheap little effect, but it's fun to give you guys this because I haven't made a tutorial in so long. So there's going to be a couple a couple more easy intermediate tutorials like this and then we'll get on to the advanced stuff. Just want to give you guys a little something something before I start with the more complex stuff. So if you guys have any requests for any tutorials be sure to put it in a comment or message me. And uh, that's basically it. I'm going to try to give my tutorials some variety from now on. And make it, not make them all the same. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.